and it's never too late to plan and get a better outcome. I've learned that week to week from Darren Farwell and his team, Farwell Wealth Management, because that's what they demonstrate with happy stories. And Darren is here this morning, smiling. So, do you have a happy story for us this morning? I have a happy story this morning, Marilyn. It's certainly not the warm weather outside, and no. you did talk about the S word. Yes, yeah. it is September. See you in September, but I thought we would have some warm weather. Well, I do have a happy story this morning. It's a happy story about, well, the confidence and better outcomes that come from making decisions from a strong foundation of knowledge and experience. A happy story about the smile you can get from simply making an informed decision. Now, making an informed decision doesn't mean you have to become the expert. To become an expert at most things takes a lot of time, decades, even a career. I remember the book that talked about 10,000 hours. I think you and I have both put in 10,000 hours, Marilyn. In each of our fields, but I know nothing about what you do. (laughs) But, you know, despite the fact that it takes so long to become an expert, you can become informed by working with experts who have put in the time. My happy story today is about a woman going through a divorce. Leanne was having a hard time getting a good night's sleep because she was so worried and unsure what to do about the family home. Leanne had lived in the home with her ex-husband and three children for 14 years. It's an expensive home in an expensive neighborhood. Leanne's gut told her to keep the house. The children grew up there. There were so many fond memories there. They were comfortable. She had made close friends, of course, of some of the neighbors. And furthermore, why should she have to move? Because in the end, the divorce was really not her idea. Well, there were a lot more emotional reasons that went along with the house as well. However, her lawyer, who she was really happy with, and as he seemed to be doing a good job for her, working in her interest, she was very satisfied with her lawyer. Her lawyer had hinted that keeping the house might be more of a financial burden than it was worth. In fact, when she talked more about it, uh, he was saying, he got more and more emphatic about the idea that financially, she could be much better off not keeping the house. But her lawyer also mentioned that he was not an expert in an area of financial planning, so he couldn't really give her the details. Apparently, she struggled and remained sort of stuck for some time in regard with what to do. Then, to her credit, she took a brave first step. She, sh- she shared her story with some trusted friends. And, lo and behold, Leanne quickly found this is a known and well-discussed dilemma for women and men in divorce. Lots of others had gone through what she was going through and had shared her uncertainty. Well, as it turns out, one of her friends is also my client. She referred Leanne to me to help develop a long-term written plan to compare the two alternatives from a long-term financial perspective. Keep the house, sell the house. Now, she referred her to me because a significant part of my practice with my team of specialists is devoted to helping women who, for various reasons, and divorce is a common one, have found themselves with more financial responsibility than they have had. And they're looking for some guidance in handling some of the new responsibilities. Just getting education can be helpful. Having some proven processes to make the decisions they're now, ne- they're now looking to make. A culture of listening. So Leanne did come in to meet with me. And I started with the five questions to consider when deciding whether to keep your marital home. Number one, what are all the reasons why you would like to keep them home? Write them out specifically and order them. One of the reasons for doing this is because you might over time think about whether some of these things that you get from the marital home you can get elsewise. You could get from something else. Number two, ask yourself, are you being swayed by the unspoken notion that the spouse who keeps the house wins and the spouse who has to move loses? This is about staying focused on the numbers, not the emotional aspects of divorce. Number three, will you be able to refinance the mortgage, 
Remember, from a lender's perspective, from a bank's perspective, alimony and child support are not considered reliable income until they've been received for some time. Number four, can you afford all the real, all-in costs of running the marital home? Leanne's home is large and expensive. When you add up all of the costs, it ends up being quite substantial. And number five, how does this decision, keeping the home or not, impact your ability to retire comfortably and stay comfortably retired? After some numbers-focused discussion, Leanne found she could get a lot of the feelings and benefits of living in her marital home, living in a smaller home nearby. We did the financial numbers. We compared her long-term plans. Leanne would be able to spend 84000 a year, index for inflation, to her life expectancy of 95 if she sold the current home and moved into something else, versus $68,000 a year if she kept it. That's a whopping 23% more per year to spend right through her retirement. That's a big difference. Now, Leanne hasn't finally decided. However, she did go away for at the end of all this analysis, smiling, happy that she had the facts she needed to make an informed decision. Well, I, as you spoke, I looked at my notes and I looked at your title. And back when, you told me that you're a certified divorce financial analyst. And this actually proves it because you put the facts down. There's five things to consider. And now she can move forward without having pink glasses on or being in the game of I win, you lose, and that kind of thing. So it is important you have put those hours in to get that certified divorce financial analyst um, title. And if anyone's sitting there and they're, I guess, in a battle and they want to decide whether they stay or go, sometimes it's for themselves, between themselves and their family. Do I stay after some, because I'm on my own in my home? Same kind of situation. So it doesn't have to be about divorce. Are you going to work today? I am going to work today. And I'll be there till about 11 o'clock this morning, Marilyn. But uh, thank you for mentioning the Certified Divorce Financial Analyst designation. One of the important things that comes from that course is some specially designed software that allows us to compare various scenarios Quite often in the, in, during a divorce settlement, you'll be given choice A, B, or C, and these choices have very long-term implications that are hard to sort out if you're not, number one, if you don't have a good piece of software to be able to project out to your life expectancy, and number two, with just out, without understanding all of the financial implications about those decisions you're making. And I have, of course, access to that with that designation and, and can run scenarios for it for those who would like some guidance. So complimentary consultation, even today on a long weekend Saturday, because Darren Farwell is part of my team and he's driven to help people. And if you have something to sort out and if someone in your family perhaps needs some advice on divorcing and what the best steps are for them, then I have the phone number. It's 416-863-7501. I'll say that again, 416 863 Seven five zero one. It's important to take action based on informed decisions. Then you can be smiling and go forward in your life knowing that you've made a decision logically, knowing the facts and not just wondering and wishing and hoping. So Darren, thank you for sharing that story. And thank you for educating yourself and becoming that certified divorce financial analyst amongst all the other things you do. It really lets people have a buffet when they come to see you on all aspects aspects of finance and investing tax efficiently. Well, it's always good to be here, Marilyn. So have a great weekend. And I think next week you're away and the week after that we see you again. So have a good couple of weeks. And uh, Darren will be available for your calls and to answer your questions at 416-863-7501. Still paying for parking and coffee? Yes. Anyone who'd like to come visit me downtown in Scotia Plaza, I'm happy to pay for the parking. And also coffee's always on the house. 
And if you leave a message for Darren, you will have someone to discuss your personal issues and be proactive and be confident that you've taken action as opposed to just wondering and wishing and hoping. Decisions like do I stay or do I go, do I keep or do I sell can be made with the help of a professional. And that number one more time, 416-863-7501, Senior Wealth Advisor, Scotia Wealth Management, Darren Farwell. Have a great week. Couple of weeks, Darren. Enjoy your long weekend, Marilyn. Thank you.